The Far East has always been a source of fascination and mystery throughout history. From the rich cultures of its civilization to the abundance of extraordinary resources, there has always been some curiosity. Japan is one of the most recognizable countries on the planet and also a figurehead on the Far Eastern Hemisphere. And apart from the cultural and social differences that make one curious about Japan, its odd geographical composition and geological state make it increasingly interesting. One thing that most people are often curious about is why Japan is so prone to natural disasters. From tsunamis to earthquakes, Japan has seen more natural disasters than any other country. But why? Well, today we are going to look into why Japan is so prone to earthquakes. In Japan, you may occasionally hear a sudden beeping noise and words flashing over the top of the screen, which is a public declaration of the incidence and size of any earthquake or natural catastrophe that has just struck the country. If there is a tsunami risk, an alert, warning or evacuation instruction will be issued at the same time. It may be beneficial to learn some fundamental earthquake signs in order for the earthquake warning to be relevant to you. In fact, in Japan itself, there is a lot of educational effort put into the very knowledge and nature of earthquakes. The normal sea of earthquakes is such that the country experiences around 100,000 earthquakes annually, of which 1,500 are considerably noticeable. With such frequencies, not every earthquake commands a reaction. Thus, it is essential knowledge as a resident to know the causation and categorization of these earthquakes. There are well-documented geological causes for Japan's seismic vulnerability. An earthquake is generated by the forces created by the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates. Because of Japan's location amid the Pacific Ring of Fire, where it is sandwiched between three tectonic plates, including the Pacific Plate beneath the Pacific Ocean and the Philippine Sea Plate, the nation is prone to abnormally frequent earthquakes. This location is almost unique entirely to Japan, since practically no other country has its mainland territory positioned on a convergent location of four major tectonic plates. These plates are the Philippine Sea Plate, Eurasian Plate, North American Plate and Pacific Plate. Unfortunately, this means that because earthquakes can originate within a tectonic plate, on land rather than at sea, and radiate outwards, it is possible that a significant quake will hit immediately under Tokyo or another large Japanese metropolis that is not used to earthquakes or seismically retrofitted. Fortunately, many structures have been designed to resist earthquakes. Some are built with the top section able to move with an earthquake as it occurs, while others are built to absorb the shock and remain firmly anchored. The term magnitude refers to the magnitude of an earthquake, whereas the seismic intensity scale refers to the effect of the earthquake that may be felt. In contrast to other nations, earthquakes in Japan are generally assessed on a 10-step seismic intensity scale ranging from 0 to 7, with lower and upper levels in between. In fact, Japan's seismic activity has been known to exceed even the most extreme levels on the scale. Although the frequency is high, the actual consequences vary based on a number of circumstances, including the distance from the epicenter and the area's geological state. The Great Tohoku Earthquake, which hit off the coast of Japan in 2011, was the most powerful earthquake in Japan's history and the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world since records began in 1900, with a magnitude of 9. Many far smaller tremors and quakes occur regularly, even hourly, without any catastrophic repercussions, as Japan earthquake information available through smartphone applications, the internet and other media will tell you. In reality, for many Japanese residents and expatriates, frequent earthquake activity is simply a part of life. The Japan Trench, in addition to the collision of tectonic plates, is another source of Japan's frequent earthquakes. The Japan Trench is an oceanic trench off the coast of northeast Japan that is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It stretches from the Kuril Islands to the northeastern extremity of the Izu Islands and its deepest point is 8,046 metres, which is about 26,398 feet. With a length of 800 kilometres, it connects the Kuril Kamchatka Trench to the north with the Izu Ogasawara Trench to the south at a distance of 497 miles. The oceanic Pacific Plate subducts beneath the continental Okhotsk Plate, forming this trench which is a microplate that was formerly a part of the North American Plate. The downgoing plate bends during the subduction process, forming a deep trench. At disruptive convergent plate borders between the Okhotsk and subducting Pacific Plates, seismic activity occurs along the Japan Trench's associated subduction zone. 
At a depth of around 8,000 metres, about 26,247 feet, movement along these plate borders continues. You can understand the commonality of earthquakes in Japan by the fact that they have their own measurement scale. In Japan, earthquakes are typically measured by seismic intensity rather than magnitude using the Shindo scale. This scale is comparable to the modified Mercalli intensity scale used in the United States or the Lidu intensity scale used in China, in that it measures the intensity of an earthquake at a specific place rather than the energy released at the epicenter, which is its magnitude, as the Richter scale does. Unlike most seismic intensity scales, which have 12 degrees of intensity, the Japan Meteorological Agency's Shindo scale has 10 levels, ranging from Shindo 0, which is a very small tremor, to Shindo 7, which is a strong earthquake. The degree of devastation caused by earthquakes with Shindo 5 and 6 intermediate levels is classified as weak or strong. Earthquakes with a Shindo of 4 or less are considered weak to mild, but those with a Shindo of 5 or more can cause significant damage to furniture, wall tiles, wooden homes, reinforced concrete structures, highways, gas and water pipes, and more. Thanks to seismology, the link between earthquakes and Japan is not new, nor is it new to the residents of the country. After learning from previous catastrophes, Japan has become one of the world's most earthquake-prepared civilizations, with training beginning as early as kindergarten, when kids are subjected to earthquake exercises in which the alarm is sounded and students are instructed to hide beneath their desks. Children are also taught to recognize the experience of an earthquake so that they are not startled when it occurs. Local fire departments take youngsters on earthquake excursions to catastrophe centers that include equipment or facilities where individuals may experience quakes of various magnitudes and learn how to respond appropriately. Regular emergency drills are performed at work, especially at department shops, where personnel may have to deal with large groups of consumers during an emergency. Many homes are likewise prepared for disasters, with heavy furniture and shelves secured in the case of significant tremors. Japan and earthquakes are even commemorated on a specific day in Tokyo. The public is reminded of disaster protection procedures and to stock up on disaster prevention items such as canned food and emergency kits on November 19th, which is known as Disaster Prevention Day. All this, in the end, reminds us of how a nation is more than just a geographical location and a number of borders. Japan, in its truest essence, has been a resilient nation. With such disasters hitting the country so frequently, the people have learned to adapt and overcome. This adaptation has been both technologically as Japan. Despite the natural challenges that it faces, Japan has extremely densely populated cities with high-rise buildings that are specifically designed to counter any such disasters. This is the beauty of mankind, the ability to respond and stay put, something the Japanese are a living testament of. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two. If you did, remember to leave a like. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you soon.